Today, I'm going to be talking about the Street Sweeper and why I believe it is the best close range option in Warzone today in Season 5. Uh, first, let's get into the statistics. And trust me, I know these statistics little look a little wonky, they look a little funky, but trust me, I'm going to get into my reasoning after. I have three key points after I go through these statistics as to why this is the gun you should be running as your close range option. Uh, so first, we get into damage. Uh, damage head is a solid 206, and everywhere else you're looking at a 166 damage. But uh, what's key to focus on here is, especially with uh, buybacks, with people dropping back in all the time, is uh, that head that headshot, uh, that, that 206, a uh, player with two armor plates has 200 health. So you're at, you're at a one-shot potential already. Um, next, we get into the range. Uh, range, and I have the approximate symbol in a lot of these. Uh, I'll explain why. For range, it's here because it's largely dependent on the pellet spread and how many of your pellets actually hit the player, as a shotgun is not a singular bullet. It shoots many in, in, in an area of an effect. Um, so uh, why the approximate symbol is there. So basically, anything 5.72 meters or under, most likely... If you're missing pellets, it's your aim and not the RNG. Anything above that, you're dealing with exponential RNG for every, you know, me extra meter over that range, um, basically. And I wouldn't, I would not use this gun anything above uh, 12 meters. Uh, time to kill. Again, we have approximate here because again, the pellet spread is uh, random after a certain point. Uh, we're looking at 0 0.4 seconds. Again, I know there are SMGs. I know both MP5s can beat that time to kill. I know the Bullfrog can beat that time to kill. And I believe what's there, there's, there's one other gun that can beat it. Uh, not sure. I know there are guns that can beat it, though. And uh, I'll again, I will explain why I still believe the Street Sweeper is a better option than any other SMG or, or uh, close range option. Uh, shots to kill, again, approximation, same reason as the other two. Uh, you're looking at two to five in the range, in the ranges that you would be using the weapon. Obviously, it could be infinite <laughs> at, at high ranges. Uh, and for fire rate, we're looking at 300 rounds per minute or one shot per every 0 0.2 seconds. And that's, that's gonna be pretty big. Uh, when we when we get back into time to kill and shots to kill um movement speed is to scale in the game to scale in the game uh 10.8 miles per hour that's pretty bad um that is not good we're going to be getting into attachments and stuff to try to improve that a little bit uh reload time uh with a 12 round mag is 14.1 seconds that is really bad that 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 is really bad. Uh, one thing I will, and we're actually gonna <laughs> increase that reload time with the with the eighteen round too. But uh, one huge part of that is that you can shoot mid reload at any point. Um, no double Y or anything. If you're you you have one shot in or you have uh, eleven shots in, you can immediately start spraying if someone uh, pushes into your line of fire. ADS speed is uh, 250 milliseconds, although I do believe a hip fire build is best for this weapon. And a sprint to fire speed is 400 milliseconds, and for the hip fire build, we're going to need to de decrease this with attachments, as hip fire is all, it's all sprint to fire time. That's what counts the most when, when you're talking about hip fire. It's all about how fast you can get that gun up and start shooting. Um, so yeah. Uh, so the first point I, I want to touch on is why is this better than the MP5s or the Bullfrog or whatever whatever gun, right? Whatever other close range metal weapon you you can come up with. Consistency. And uh, the reason why I say that is hitting two shots to the body is exponentially easier than hitting three shots to the head and three shots to the body or two shots to the head and five shots to the body or you know what i mean you're going to be hitting those two body shots 99.99999 percent of the time in in whatever situation uh if you've been playing uh, first person shooters for 
at, at least a year, you are going to nail those two shots every time. You're going to be getting that time to kill in that range every time. There is very little room for error when it comes to when it comes to human error, uh, as opposed to other weapons like the MP5, uh, Bullfrog, those those headshot machines, which you know, if you're a professional player, you have no problem doing. But for the average, for the average Call of Duty player, it, you know, get, getting those, especially if you're dealing with quads, multiple gunfights, getting those time to kills over and over and over and over and over again is just, it's, it's just plain unreal. I, it's unrealistic for me. I mean, I use the MP5. I, I, this is not the only weapon I use. I, I, you know, it's hard to have fun in a game if you're using the same, same thing every time. But, uh, yeah. I just find my most consistent games are with the street sweeper because of this, because I can, I can hit two body shots. Anybody can hit two body shots. The player could pick up the game today. If they are in a, in a room, in a building, they're a threat. A any player with the street sweeper, regardless of skill level in the right range is a threat to any, to any skill player. Right. And, and this is part of why I think it's part of, it is the overall meta choice for uh, for close range in Warzone right now. Uh, secondly, uh, you might ask yourself if this is truly the best close range option. Uh, why don't more pro players use it? Why aren't the best players in the game using the best weapon? And uh, again, this really boils down to consistency and and separating your yourself from the pros because i am not you know <laughs> i am not a professional call of duty player you are likely not a professional call of duty player they are able they use those guns they go for versatility because if you're if you're a professional call of duty player you're doing usually one of one or two things you're going for content which means you're going for the most kills possible in a game or you're going for some kind of wager, some kind of tournament, which again, you're usually it's usually a kill race unless it's a custom lobby. Uh, you're going for kills, right? And when you're trying to squeeze the most possible kills out of a game, you want the most versatile weapons possible because you need to be able to challenge anybody at any range, any time, any every single uh, every single possible confrontation you're gonna find yourself in like you find yourself in these situations every warzone game you play where oh do i want to fight this team or not that that's not a question for they're fighting the team right and no matter no matter what the situation is street sweeper is an extremely situational weapon and what comes with using the street sweeper is knowing how to control a gunfight and control situations and make make sure you're setting yourself up for success uh the Professional Call of Duty players, they're on the clock. They, they need to get kills fast, efficiently, and quickly. They're playing with other professionals who know what they're doing, and they're able to, you know, they're able to maneuver and, and be more consistent with these weapons way more than the average player. And, um, and way, way better than me as well. Lastly, uh, for specifically players like me, um, I don't... I don't know. I, it, it's hard. It's hard for me to, to phrase this without sounding mean. But if if you are if you play, let's say you play with a lot of randoms, right? And you're you know you're a decent player, you, and you typically find your your uh, skill level is a little better than that of the players you get cued with. Um, you are constantly in situations where you're under you're at a disadvantage. You're either buying back a teammate, you're coming back from the gulag. Um, you're, you're always scrambling, right? If you don't have a good team, you're always scrambling. You're never, you're, 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 you're never set. You're always scrambling. You, you guys know what I mean. Um, and in situ, I find in situations with the street sweeper, when, when I'm getting pushed hard, when I'm getting pushed hard by multiple teammates, there's really nothing, uh, really nothing that can compete with the sheer, just crowd control ability of the street sweeper so if you're a player and you you find yourself that you're dealing with high stress situations a lot and you're dying because you're getting 
two players are pushing you at the same time a lot. And again, you might say, well, oh, I see, you know, Z laner and, and these guys, and they take on three to five dudes with the MP5 at one time. Again, I'm not a Z laner. You're not a Z laner. We're losing that gunfight fucking 99 times out of 100. Uh, it, it's about controlling the situation, putting yourself in situations, in choke points where the street sweeper will essentially sweep the streets. <laughs> and there's not much your opponents can do about it. I, so many times I, I use this weapon and uh, I, I, kill, I wipe a team. They're, they're just confused. They're like, I literally, what gun was that? They, they're, they're just, they're shocked by the, the sheer just demolishment that the street sweeper outputs. And uh, let, let, let's go over the, you know, the weaknesses a little bit. I've talked a lot of strengths. Let's talk some weaknesses. Obviously, a weakness is the range. Uh, for that, you are going to need a solid mid to long range AR. You're not going to pair this weapon with a sniper rifle. Um, you want something very versatile as, as your secondary in case, you know, you have to deal with that reload time or, or there's multiple enemies pushing you at different ranges, which is where this weapon is kind of, you know, iffy and the SMGs shine a little more. But if you know, if you know how to set yourself up for success with the street sweeper using your loadout with a versatile assault rifle one, two, I use throwing knives in case, you know, someone pushes me close and then someone pushes me a little farther, a little out of my range, just slap them real quick, throwing knife, you know, May, uh, throwing knife doesn't kill a full armored player, but then at that point, if you hit them with one and you break their armor, you hit them once with a street sweeper, they're done, they're down, uh, stun grenades, I use stun grenades, um, that helps slow down a push very much if you need time to reload if you need time to armor up if you need time to get out of there pop a stun or if you're getting multiple enemies pushing you at once pop a stun couple of them get stunned couple of them push you you get to separate that gunfight you get to isolate those gunfights you win that gunfight and now of course we go to the reload time as i've said you can reload you can shoot mid reload but this reload is brutal man if you're using the 18 round tube like you should be especially if you're playing with against multiple opponents uh that reload is going to clock in in about 21 seconds which is absolutely brutal this is the only i it's a necessary downside to this gun but it is a huge one this is a, again why pros don't use the street sweeper they need to be constantly in and out of gunfights they're constantly moving from one gunfight to another gunfight multiple teams they're moving back and forth, back and forth. They don't have time for that 21 second reload when there's money on the line. But you and me, we do. If you're playing for the win, you <laughs> choose your gunfights. Use the street sweeper, choose your gunfights, and you will win. You will win. Now let's get into the loadout. So I just hopped in game here real quick. Uh, we're going to show you the loadout. Um, here we have my street sweeper. We're going to run the agency choke for, you know, general damage range. Sound suppression, always nice. Reinforced heavy for some added damage range. You want to increase that range as much as you can. Ember sight a point for hip fire accuracy. Stand ground 18 round drum. And uh, this is kind of where you can get a little funky with it, but I choose to go with no stock just for that sprint to fire time. I think that has saved my ass so many times in uh, situations where I'm either pushing hard or getting pushed hard and I need to pop those couple of shots off before the other guy can. Uh, even though it does you know, decrease the hip fire accuracy a little bit, I think it, I think it's worth it. Um, as you can see, the rest of the loadout here, I'm running an experimental AMAX. I'm kind of eh, on, I, I don't know. You can, you, I'll show it if you want to, if you want to try it. Um, uh, personally, I don't know. I would, 
for for the average player i'd recommend maybe like a grow or or something fully loaded i don't know um it's pretty much personal preference for your primary just anything you're comfortable with that's versatile you can use medium to long range go for it uh throwing knife i personally throwing knife or c4 i think is a must for this class when you're using the street sweeper and like say you eliminate a guy right and he calls out he's got a shotgun he's got a shotgun and say someone on his team actually has a brain and doesn't just blind push you which is unlikely in this game usually they're just gonna blind push you um any peaks at a range you're not very comfortable with with the street sweeper just slap him real quick with that throwing knife if he's full armor tag him once with the street sweeper he's down um also the stun grenades uh i know i know people love the heartbeat and again i know pros again the reason why the pros use the heartbeat is because Kills equal money for them. <laughs> like, actual money. <laughs> They're trying to find as many people as possible to kill. They don't need utility like stun grenades to win a gunfight because they're just better. Um, I'll tell you what, I've definitely needed stun... Almost every game I play, I end up needing my stuns. So, uh, to me, they're a must. Uh, I usually, on my, on my main class, I run a restock with them. Um... But uh, yes, stuns are incredible for keeping, especially playing quads or something, keeping players kind of distant uh, from you and kind of keeping those gunfights controlled the way you want them to be. Uh, perks, we go double time. It's a must in my opinion, especially at the slow speed of the street sweeper. Uh, overkill for this class and uh, amped. Uh, just for the faster weapon swap, if I get pushed hard, I want to be able to whip the street sweeper out as fast as possible get those shots landing uh but yeah that's basically it this is the close range meta for season five uh let me know what you think in the comments let me know if you want to see videos like this more often check me out on my twitch bass to mouth underscore links in the description peace